Welcome to the Guaranteed Irish Business Podcast, where each week we're joined by the amazing leaders of Guaranteed Irish member businesses to chat all things business, sustainability, buying Irish, promoting Irish jobs, community, provenance, and so much more. Sponsored by FBD Insurance, Ireland's largest homegrown insurer. Support, it's what we do. Hi there, my name is Breed O'Connell and this month, January, is Pharmaceutical and Healthcare Month in Guaranteed Irish, where we celebrate the fantastic pharmaceutical companies in Ireland which support Irish jobs, communities and provenance. This month is sponsored by MSD Ireland and joining me for the next two episodes of the podcast is Mairead McCall, Managing Director of MSD Ireland. So Mairead, thanks for coming in to join us today. Tell us a little bit more about MSD Ireland. Where did the company originate from and what are your core values values in the organisation? So um, MSD was actually founded in the US in 1891 by our founder George Merck. Um, We've been in Ireland since 1974. We now have five manufacturing sites and um, seven sites in total around Ireland. One of them is our commercial head office, which is over in Leopardstown. And we also have uh, another um, data labs facility, which is part of our animal health network over in Black Rock in County Dublin as well. Okay, so a large number of employees there. How many are you employing at the moment? So the latest numbers are we have um, just under 3,000. They're the official latest numbers. So we've, we've seen a lot of growth over the last while, um, a lot of um, new hires as well. And what are the benefits then of MSD of being a guaranteed Irish member? So the, co- the core benefits for MSD as a, as a guaranteed Irish member are, you know, we are geographically spread. We're around the regions. We're not concentrated in any one particular area. So the benefits for us is, is really um, to, to leverage and to harness that presence that we have in Ireland. Ireland is very significant in terms of um, MSD's global operations as well. And under your leadership, Mairead, you've really gone through a massive growth phase. Uh, It's been really successful in the last few years. Has that been as a result of COVID or how did you navigate your way through COVID? A testing time for any business leader. Well, COVID was challenging, I think, for all of us. Um, Sometimes we we, um, like to think that, you know, it's it's all over. But I think as we've seen over the last few weeks, you know, um, COVID is, is still around. Um, I took on my role as, as managing director in December 2020, so, so right in the middle mm. of, of COVID. So that was, that was a, a challenging time, you know, to take on the new role. We were working virtually um, from March of 2020, you know, in, in the commercial organization. But in the manufacturing facilities, obviously, um, business had to continue. Um, we have patients that depend on us, not only in Ireland, but, but globally as well. And the key learning, I think, for me, um, from a, a COVID point of view, was, you know, really the centrality of, of Ireland um, in the global supply chain. And it was great, you know, that um, the supply chain continued and our operations continued very successfully. Actually, that's a very good point you're making on behalf of pharmaceuticals based here in Ireland. Is that something that has been dialed up a little bit more by the pharmaceutical industry based here in the sense of using Ireland as such a central hope to reach their global, I suppose, export markets? Well, Ireland, Ireland, as you know, is is really huge um, when it comes to pharmaceutical manufacturing and innovation. So um, I think what what it did in Ireland, you know, we we have a long, long heritage with the industry here in Ireland. But I think what um, really COVID did was it shone the spotlight on Ireland and the extent of the Irish operations for many different manufacturers here in Ireland and the impact that we have from a global perspective. So you set up and a huge employer for sure across so many walks of life and so many skill sets are you finding it difficult to recruit or where are we in that in the pharmaceutical sector now in ireland well you know the pharmaceutical sector is buoyant and um, there is a, a war for talent uh, within ireland and um, but i think you know um, we're really well set up. You know, Ireland has a, a really um, high percentage of STEM graduates, and, and that just didn't happen overnight. You know, this was down to um, strong collaboration between industry, between government, and also uh, between academia. So this is something that Ireland Inc. have act- actively worked in ter- at in terms of, you know, making sure that we remain 
attractive, you know, for um, the, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical sector. sector. Well, it's great to see such forward planning coming out of the pharmaceutical sector. And very often you're not giving credit for that. So I take my hats off to the members uh, there in that sector for doing that and thinking, I suppose, of putting a little bit of forward planning. And maybe that's part of the contribution as a group um, when you network together that um, you that forward planning is allowing you to be so successful as opposed to uh, crisis management or firefighting as a lot of sectors go through you've had a lot of growth in the last 12 months the next 12 months on under your leadership Mairead what is the big plan for MSG Ireland uh, going into 2023 well, we've had a significant number of um, milestones within our network in Ireland over the last while. We've had um, significant um, announcements in terms of expansion as well. So really, it's to ensure, you know, that we deliver for um, we deliver for MSD, but that we also deliver for those patients who depend on us globally. And, you know, one of the things you did ask, um, you know, at the beginning was around our values. And if I was to summarize our, our, our values, you know, we have um, very much the, the focus is that the patient comes first and, and that is really critical. And that goes back, you know, I, I referenced our founder back in um, 18, 1891. And one of the things that um, he referenced was that patients, you know, must come first. And we can never forget that, you know, what we are doing is ultimately for patients. And that's that's something that is still very strong within our culture. Thank you for listening to part one of this interview with Maureen McCall, Managing Director of MSG Ireland. Part two will be available on Friday, so make sure to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen so you don't miss the rest of the interview. The Guaranteed Irish Business Podcast, sponsored by FBD Insurance, Ireland's largest homegrown insurer. Support. It's what we do.